Papa come on, come on, come on, come on. Ile ko baraka tene bene gedi na bataya. Let me step into apostolic feast with an understanding, with a revelation of all that you will have me come into. E ko baraka tene bene gata ya. Ile bene ko bene gete ne bene gedeta. Ile ko bono koto na bono koto. The pastor said in the first service, it is not just about what will happen during the meeting. It is also about what the meeting will unlock. E ko bana kati na bana ta. In the Berekuma Nakatene Benegate, a Koba Baba Koba Nogoto Nogoto Nogoto. I wish you were praying and talking to God. It is a pre conference service, it is to set your heart in order for all God wants to do. How be it you are in this hall and you do not descend. A Koba Nia Siakaya, a Lebrekuba Nogoto Nogoto, in the Benekuma Nakatene Bete, a Bedeki Benegatina Banagataya. The eyes of my understanding be lightened, O oh God. Lift up your voice. E koma papa tene gete. Ile bene koma na kabana tana. Ile bere koma no koto no bono koto. A papa koma no koto no bato. Ile koma no koti ne gete. A libi ni kimi ni gete na batana. E koma ne koma no tana. A papa ke bene gete ni bene gete. Ile bene koma no koma no koto. A libi re koma na kabana. Are you online and on sight? Lift up your voice and declare the spirit of the world of advancement. It takes a hold of me, is effectively at work in me. A kaba ne kubo no tona, ile bene kubo no kubo no kudo. A bene kube ne gedi ne bete, a papa ne keti ne gede. This is not a week to hear only with the ear. A kaba la tane, ile bene kubo no kubo no by the time the circle is completed, I will be a proof of advancement. Lift up your voice and pray out. Is she Kabala Katina Taya? A Kumba Baba Kumanato, a Lebera Kumana Kabanata, a Kabene Katini Minigade. Out of this pre conference service, let the spirit of the world be effectively at work in me, O God. A Kabaneko, a Lekumana Kaya, a Lebene Kumano Kudu. I cannot fall short of the expectations of God in my life. A Kabala Taya. In the bene ke bene ke dina ta, in the bene kumo no kumo no kudo, ababa ke bene ke tene bene ke de, ali kubarate, be on the watch, O God, let the spirit enter me, akaba le kanata, let it set me on my feet, eshi kopo kopo tono, in the bene kuma na kada, I am not returning with anything, but testimonies and evidences of a last meta, akaba. Barata, ille bere kuma nata, ille bene kuma no kuto. Are you all I pray? Are you in the soul pray? It is a pre-conference service. Oh God, my Father, the Spirit of the World of Advancement, eshi kane kaya, eka papa pato, akuma negede, ille bene kuma nata. Let me discern and understand, and let the spirit be at work in me. Akima ne kunaya, ine koma noto, ababa ne gede. I will be numbered among men that advance in this season. I don't want to be left out. Eshe koma ya, ine koma mama, akopo po 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 po, akimi ne gete ne me dia, iye gete 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 dia. My heart is longing, oh God. My soul is crying out. Eshe eko, eshe eko, eka ma ya, ebe ne koma no kudo, ina ba ne kebe ne gete. Lift up your voice and scream out. I advance. I advance. I advance. Oh, by the spirit of His word, I advance on every side. Come on, come on, raise the sound to the Most High. We bless your name, O God. Who is 
it's only you. Only you. Only you. It's with you and I forever. It's with you and I forever. Eternity. Eternity. Oh, Rabba, say, come ahead. Oh, your glory. Your glory is evident in this house. Blessed be your holy name. We forcefully advance in your presence. We forcefully advance in your presence. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, Severe Kotana. In the name of Jesus, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be in God's presence this morning? Can you add a shout? Come on, come on. Can you look for a praise partner and shout with a person? No, 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 no. Can you look for a praise partner? I can hear the voice of those online. I don't know about you. <laughs> don't allow online worship and shout more than you. Look for a praise partner and shout in the person's ear.
prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. This week, this week. Say, oh my leg. Oh my leg. of the Lord. Can you just lift up your hands wherever you are and just exalt this God. He reigns forever and his name is greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, oh God, your name is to be exalted. You your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time began. You reign forever. Your name is ever great. You are the wisdom before time. Say you and you
Open up your mouth and pray as in the Holy Ghost. E katina mala katena. Le mene komo no kova la katine mene katiata. E kobo shinala kataya. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, 2 and 3. God has a walk, a word for you in this apostolic feast weekend. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the dwelling. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. For you should expand to the right and to the left. And your descendants will inherit the nations and make desolate cities what? Inhabited. Spare not in making room for enlargement that advances you to next levels on every side. For your God commands and sponsors your advancement this season in the name of Jesus. Boldly declare with me, I spare not in any area of my life, but make big rooms for evident enlargement that advances me to greater levels of productivity, of fruitfulness, of impact, of influence, and of relevance in the name of Jesus. Raise your voice and pray it out. Eshina kapala katena, isuela teyela tana, ekopala tuniata. I spare not in any area of my life. Ekopala tuniata. I enjoy evident enlargement. Ekopala tuniata. For my God, He commands and He sponsors my advancement. Open up your mouth and pray it out. Katana Kabala Kataya, a Kabala Kotuna Manaka Tinihaya, a Kabela Tuniata, a Kabala Katine Mandeta. I spread out my tent, I strengthen my stakes, a Kabala Tuniata, a Kabela Tuniata, a Kabela Beleta. Lift up your voice in every area of my life, a Ziana Tono. It is evident advancement, a Kabala Tuniata, in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, verse 4 and 5. God says that she let you know from the mouth of our pastor. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame. For you will forget the shame of your youth and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name and your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called what? He is called what? Lift up your hands and say, receive God's word. I receive God's word. I believe God's word. And it is settled in my life in the name of Jesus. Take your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. God is faithful. And I want you to know the best thing that happened to you is that you found your place in this service today because your profiting, your enlargement, your advancement is going to be evident on every side in the name of Jesus. Can you talk to about giving a very warm smile and say to you, welcome to your advancement week. Say to I see advancement all over you. Is evident in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to make welcome special persons that want to testify to what God has done in their life. And I want you to celebrate them because your clap offering is your advancement sign in the name of Jesus. Jam does tell us we make welcome and Esther for our testimony. Come on, church, you can do better. I know you can do better. Hallelujah. Some have hands. They cannot clap. You have hands. Give Jesus a better offering. Good morning, Esther. Good 
Pastor. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I I walked in here um, for the first time, fourth of February, and um, my life was nothing to write home about. I didn't know how to describe my life, but let me say maybe Genesis chapter one verse two. It was without form and void. <laughs> But in this place, God, the Spirit of God brooded over my spirit and light shined through. Hallelujah. God gave me clarity, a sense of purpose and direction. Um, I recorded so, so much testimonies because then I was almost in every service because I believed God. They said it was a year of prosperity. I said, God, ah, prosperity. I said, it's year old. So and then I was almost in every service. My roommates tell me, Ha, this is your newfound church. <laughs> I said, watch. But after two months, I recorded so much testimony. Just last week, she told me, babe, I will follow you. All. And mom said, mom will always say that results don't lie. If you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, you will explain tire. <laughs> no evidence. <laughs> so let me just um, share the two things God did for me here. The first thing was, because I came in, I was not even having an Android phone. But I had believed God for, like, I I was in church two Sundays, and two beautiful ladies testify how they believe God for phones. I say, ah, I'll believe you. And then I believed God. One of the morning, Friday morning prayers, I, 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 I believe God. I poured out my heart. I said, God, I need a phone. No. I've been telling my people, don't, but they don't nobody want to comply. But after that morning, I came here before I went to work. That morning, I went back to my office, and I, I got an alert. I got 120K from home. Because then phone was pretty expensive. I, I also told a friend, see, the phone I want to get was on the high side. So he sent me 30K again. And then I waited to the end of the month. I made it up and I got the phone. First of March. And then um, the latest, I have, I have a lot, but let me just share two. And the latest God did was just last week. Okay, because after the um, business meeting, I, I was inspired that there is this digital skill I can sell on. I started to transit, just as um, Dr. Adena said, from being just an employee to an entrepreneur, yes. So I, I got this inspiration that I can sell this digital skill online, but then I needed to improve on it, and I needed a laptop. I didn't know where it was going to come from. I didn't have money. So but then I believed God. That's Friday. Um, um, Easter Friday, that's Good Friday, yes. Mo the morning prayer, I was here. That was one of the things I believe God. I needed to buy a, a, I needed to buy the course, and then the course was over 30K, and then I needed a laptop. So I believe God for these two things. But brethren, last week, someone on Monday, uh, I think on Tuesday, someone gifted me um, an amount of money that was enough to buy the course. And then on Wednesday, a laptop was handed over to me. How did it happen? In my office, they don't buy you laptop. Oh, they don't. But my manager just took it up. Like, I don't know how it happened, but they just got me a laptop. Praise the Lord. Can we give Jesus praise? Because everything you need in this service, you receive it. Say to neighbor, you receive it. Help me prophesy to your neighbor. Everything you need in this service, you receive it and next sunday you will testify about it if that's your portion give him an amen, amen. i want to thank god specifically for something that happened yesterday i woke up yesterday with a very sharp pain behind my back very sharp and everybody in my house just knew that i was not okay like it was bad i didn't want to tell pastor administrations and everything and all I said to myself that I know that when I come for that outreach, I was going to be healed. I just kept saying to myself, I went to the market with faith. Like she, at every point, I would sit down. Every point, I would sit down. If I had to come to church to drop something, and Pastor Gideon saw me, I said, did somebody beat you? And I said, nobody beat me. So you're looking very stressed. Like I was, I was down. But I got home about 4 p.m. And I was saying, should I send a text and tell them I cannot come? I'm tired. Even though they were, they were at home, I said, Mom, are you sure you're going to go? At the point, I had my bath. I said, I'm going. I had to rub my face. It was that bad. And I came here. And as I was just joking, people didn't even know the pain I carried. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as we go to honor a Sata bus stop, I said to the Lord, I'm here. Let the healing now start. The first person I talked to, I checked myself and I could not find that pain. Like, I'm a pet radicality I was talking, I was with Mrs. Happiness, I was with Mrs. Chidema, Chidema was with us, OJ. But they didn't know that all I was doing was I was trying to release my faith for my healing. And I'm standing here to say, no pain, everything is gone, and I'm whole, and I'm happy. I'm giving this testimony just to encourage someone. And guess what? The guy that I invited, the first guy, is in church this morning. <laughs> I've come to thank God because my advancement has started. And also to encourage you, Tuesday, and I want you to know that nothing is permitted to be stale in your life after this service. In the name of Jesus, raise your hands, voice your expectation before God as we make welcome the best choir east of the Niger, the voice of melody. Hallelujah.
we are going to lift up our voice and thank the Father for this defining week that we've been waiting for this defining moment this portal he opens as it were once in every year in apostolic feast we are going to give him praise for the things he said to do in apostolic feast 2024 in this city in this church in our individual lives and in our families can you lift up your voice everywhere you are online and on site and just give him praise in the name of the lord jesus christ lift up your voice moro setia kabatiaka ezekolo zure eto zenia kabatiaka ezekelo rosholo komboro setia kabatiaka ezatelo rosholo komboro zina abatiaka give him praise for the angels that are mobilized for you this week ezakabaro sono kobaratiaka Jinene kolo zila abato zetiaka. Give him praise for the apostles. He's sending on our way this week. Ezakato zina abato zetiaka. Yala rakombele to zeniaka batosha. Yele relo sholo kombarato zetiaka. Can you lift up your voice and give him praise for the manifest glory and presence? Ezak. Kamaro solo kombatiaka Ezekile rosoro beletia That we will encounter this week Ezakambaloso Ina lakoro soro kombatiaka Ezato zatiaka Is someone giving him praise Praise is the finished work of prayer He said with prayer and thanksgiving Ezakabaro solo kombatia is the expression of your faith. Anana Soko Peretu Satiaka. Give him praise for the word that comes to us this week. Helete Solo Kombarato Satiaka. Yele Sola Abato Satiaka. The transformational encounter. Yeloro Soloro Soloro. Atanto Seletia Kabata. Yele Solo Kombeletiaka. Lift up your voice and give him praise for the city that will be affected the cities that will be affected lift up your voice Shaya Kabaro Sayaka your invitees that will be transformed Yele Rosholo Kombatia Yala Roko Peretia Shalie Koloko Peletea Shokambarato Saya Shalato Sayaka, Yeloro Converto Saya, Etele Bataka. Can you say it's my defining moment? I believe it's my defining moment. Lift up your voice and declare it again. This week is my defining moment. I advance on every side in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice. Shaka barato sayaka, sheye lo kombarato saya, eto sale peretosa. I make room to enlarge, I make room to advance. Shaka bayete, yala kombaro solo kombate, sole reto satina, satina kala kopelete, yala ratosa, yala ratosa. Yala Ratosha, lift up your voice. She said, If I may only touch Atato Solo Kobata, if I may only appear in his presence, is my defining moment. Sokabaratosa, Yele Rosolo 
Rosoto, Yato Sila Abata, Sala Kamba Roso, Etete Palatosa, Yaya Combelete, Etu Seleto Fatiaka, Yababa, Yababa, Yababa Combelete, Esoli Soro Combelete, Aya Loso Loco, Lift up your voice as I refuse every destruction. I refuse every manipulation. I refuse every protection. Don't deny me or skip me away from what God wants to walk out in my life this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift up your voice. Shaka Paratoka, the spirit of slumber eyes will not knock me off to sleep when my word is coming Saka Belete Ato Solo Combat My boss Ebe Belo Koba will not suddenly say we are traveling together Sale Combelete Soro Combelete Any scheming Any manipulation Any projection Yalo Combelete Kabaro solo kobata, alo sulelelia, to keep me away in this defining moment. I refuse and stop it in His presence. Lift up your voice and decree and pray. No friendly situation that is actually unfriendly to man a solo kobaya will take me away in this defining moment. Ato fellow kobata, I to I have made up my mind to meet him this week. So kobereteka is a Prepare to meet your God at Osayataka and the fasted three days and sanctify themselves to meet their God. Lord, I've been fasting since 18 days. I've been fasting since 21 days. Preparing myself to meet my God. Saya Kombeletiaka, Yellow Solo Kombatiaka, no call of emergency, no urgent. Call Yala Combelo Covata will arise this week. Licon to Sayateka Ayalo Soloko. Lift your voice as I redeem this week by the blood of Jesus. I concentrate this week by the blood of Jesus. Nothing distracts me, nothing keeps me away. No scheme. No manipulation, no protection. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Yakaparatova, Shenebereteka. I refuse that appointment that I've been waiting for. To now come now to take me to Abuja, away from the conference, to take me to Lagos. Ayatoka, you will say, Pastor, why? You may still go and not get it. And you've lost it and lost the final moment. Lift up your voice. Sensitivity is required in the final moment. Sola Barateka. Sola Barateka. I have appointment with destiny. 
this week I have appointment with destiny so la barateka isele roto veyete shaya kombeletia adanto sayata I am not absent on the day of appointment with destiny shale lo soya eke lo soloto I am to veyete I am to veyete I am to veyete I am to veyete so kabarateka one more time lift up your voice and say my father my God all that you are working out all that you are doing all that you are prepared for your people and for me this week I experience it I come into it in the name of the Lord Jesus Sakabarateka Yelokoberatia Esolokoberatia Baratia, yellow celebrate, yellow celebrate, yellow celebrate, a shock on belate, ya comparatos, little so, little so, little so, Epeno Sayateka, Saka Bayateka, a congo palatia, a tosolo combelate, Saya combalata, a tosayetena, a Ekelo, 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 Allah kombeleta, announce to your hearing, and to the hearing of the heavens and the earth, out of this conference, I am advancing, on every side, in the name of the Lord Jesus, prophesy it into this week, prophesy it into the conference, ya koparatea, solo kombeletea, yelo Kombaratoka, Soko Palate, Atosayata, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now hold one person by the hand. We are going to pray down his kingdom. This brief conference service. We are going to pray down his will. We are going to pray down his counsel. Bible said that Paphoros is one of you that labors fervently in prayer that you may be established completely in all his will there is the will of God for this conference for everyone that has been ordained to be here and for every one of us that are first partakers of this conference is a prayer of intercession and a prayer of enforcement and I want you to pray with all your heart online on site. So much has gone in for this conference. We refuse to be stagnant. We refuse to remain at the same spot. We refuse that what God wants to do will fail. He said, when he stretches forth his hand, who will withdraw it? When he proposes a thing, who will annul it? You are going to decree after me. And you are going to pray with all your heart. Pray then, please pray with your heart. This is that defining week. And this is that year of prosperity. Say, I agree with my brother. Say with conviction, I agree with my brother. I agree with my sister. I agree touching this one thing. Just as scripture has said, where two or three are great touching a thing, it shall be established. I come into agreement, enforcing the completeness of the will of God, of the counsel of God, of the mind of God, and his kingdom for Apostolic Feast 2024. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray out. Saka barato setiaka, yele rosolo kombalatiaka, sele kobarato vadiya kabata, etete tosa tete ya, eselo kombaratiya kabata, esile rosolo kombelete ya, yala rabarota. Everyone sick person or ten to be healed is healed in this conference. Everyone person or ten to be saved. 
unto salvation of soul he saved in this conference he had to come below come by a tent of palatica every one person that ought to be delivered from one form of affliction and bondage a tosan a kabatos is delivered a tongue come below come by a everyone one person that transformation has been appointed for a tent of Bayaka in one area of his life or the other and then talk about it that transformation happens lift up your voice and then talk about the Tova and show the Toseliata and Toseletomba dear and get to 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 we enforce his counsel we enforce his will and then to say men rise from this place to possess inheritances are you still praying we enforce this full counsel we enforce this full will shaka balate shaka balate shaka balate atosoyoto can we decree everyone did ordain for this week happens by the spirit can you decree by the spirit we assess all we assess all that has been prepared and released for this conference by our father in the name of the Lord Jesus lift up your voice Shala Belete Shala Belete Shala Belete Shala Belete we connect to the spirit from this service Atando Belete let the overflow start from this service overflow of the spirit in this Walking out, Saka Paratoka, in assessing all, impressing into all, Shala Paracombata, prepared and released for this conference. Yellow Coba, Yellow Coba, Yellow Coba, Yellow Coba, Shola Bandoloko, Saraton Veletiata, and Locoba Ratovatia. So combatiaka, pray a little more. Yana kabalaka, we receive the ministry of the spirit from this service for apostolic feast 2024. A tongue combata, a contosayata, a locombele to fire. We assess all, we present to all, we receive all. Sala combeletia. A combarato satiata, a lerato sayata, praying tongues, then as one minute everywhere, let's release mysteries of the spirit, pray out in the Holy Ghost, Recomoro Comalatia, Erocombaro Batia, Etondo Salatia, Ekateata, 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 Erocombaro Bosa, Ekondo Solomboloba, Ekelobolombolobasa, Ekelokombata, 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 we speak for mysteries into the week from this first day of the week. Solokombolokomata, Erocombeletiaka, light is prevailing, light is prevailing, and he commanded light on the first day. We command the prevailing light sala kabala kata eto solo kombata etete etete ato satiaka if you believe them shall they turn us amen another turn us amen one more time a shout of amen I know you are here Don't be confused again. This is the last time I will raise a song and the mics are on the table on the chair. I know you are here, here in your power. I know you are here. Pray. 
precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here. You are here to change our lives, Lord. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here, here in your power. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here, you are here. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. I know He is here, here in His power. He is descending upon us today. I know He is here in a special way to continue with us precious Holy through this week, Spirit. through this conference. I know He is here. He is here to cause revival. Oh, we find him when we seek him with all our hearts. Precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here. Here in your power. Lord, I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. Just sing it one more time everywhere. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here. You are here to bring me I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit.
scriptures talks about set time defining moments portals that open in heaven within a space of time to unlock destinies not as though God walk every day but they are defining moments like he said they set time to favor Zion like he talked about the time of visitation everyone that takes advantage of defining moments always comes into new dimensions of advancement in the person's life Turn back to that Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11. There are strong men that are on the floor. Bible said of David and Jonathan, swifter than eagles, stronger than lions. But they say, why are the weapons of warfare failed or what or falling? And they went on to say, how has the mighty man collapsed? There is a mystery on the earth. And that's why the Bible made a statement that a man can build a strong foundation and will not be able to complete it. There are people that have a promising future and the season completes and you don't see that dimension of the future. Promising marriage. The day they were wedding, it was a talk of the town. Everybody expected much from that wedding. But the wedding became a mess. Why? Not because they didn't have skill. Not because some dimension of wisdom and understanding was not with them. But they missed defining moment. There's something called defining moment. Like the defining moment of Africa is now. There's a clip that was sent to us. Why it's no? If there is any time Africa will rise in civilization, in development, and their economy will prosper is now. Before they taught the white students how Africa is backward and nothing really can come out from them. But now they are teaching the whites the possibilities that will come from Africa. There's a clip of a white young guy in, the, in, a, in a symposium that was talking about Africa. That's what I want to look at now. See if I can see it and send to them to play for you. Oh God. When that clip was sent to us, because there are certain groups I'm in where we discuss intelligent matters. Because we are not just people that are positioning ourselves to do something, but we are leading a people for such a time. I couldn't find it. It's already downloaded. Maybe by the time they are doing offering and all that, I'll get it and give to the media. Yet someone is in Africa. And he's not seen anything of this continent. Someone is in Africa, is in Nigeria, and there's nothing he's seen. It's like when the prophet said, By this time tomorrow, this whole crisis you are seeing is going to turn around. And someone could not see it. Someone said, even if they open the windows of heaven, it cannot happen. And the prophet said to him, you will see it, but you will not come into it. That's the way the finding moments come for a people. Do you know some people think that there's nothing that can come out from Nigeria? Yet, from outside Nigeria, the nations are seeing all the possibilities in this nation. I'll definitely play that clip before we leave or in the conference. And so, 
those that have understanding of defining moments there is a way they respond to it and they have an advantage over others some people may even be mighty like that captain that captain was the captain of the army of israel that stands before the king a mighty man but he could not discern that defining moment what happened to him he was swallowed up there are people that have been relevant in time past and lost their relevance because they could not discern get one seat for him let him come and sit in his position protocol get a seat for him If you can't see what God is working out in Nigeria and Africa, you are too blind. Get a black seat. What are you doing? Look for one black seat and bring here. And so we said something. Defining moment. <laughs> How many of you believe in Nigeria? <laughs> How many of you believe in Enugu? You believe in this Enugu then? Better believe it too. Because if you don't believe in this Enugu, what will happen is that you will live in Enugu, the good of the land will not reach you. It's only those that believe in Enugu who see the good, experience the good, and give you the change. The balance from their aiming. There is good in this land. Please show that scripture. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise nor riches to men of understanding nor favor to men of skill but what happens to everyone is time and chance happens to them all God is so generous that he gives everybody 24 hours every day God is so generous that he creates opportunities needful for everyone to move from one point to another point. To everyone, both, both to the strong and to the weak. But what defines the outcomes, like take for instance, is a big opportunity for me in Enugu. When I came, I studied all the problems of Enugu. That's what I normally do. Anytime I enter a city, I study those problems. They say this one. And I sit down and start thinking of how will I solve this problem and leave a model for this problem. That's the way I live. And I, I identify four major problems of Enugu. Four. And I took responsibility. Like I identified more than four, but I took responsibility for four. That's the way kings rise. Egypt rose and Joseph rose because they were able to de descend defining moment and they knew what to do. That same problem, that same challenge that you are seeing is what lifts many. Bible says Nehemiah searched out from men that came from Jerusalem the state of the city and when they told him the state of the city Nehemiah began to fast and pray that the hand of God will come upon him and that he may find means to solve the problem Nehemiah became a governor many wanted to leave that city because of the state of the city 
But Nehemiah that was comfortable in the palace returned back to that city. The way leaders see and the way followers see are never the same. There is no way you can adjust it. A leader is a leader, a follower is a follower. It's not position, it's the way we see. Like I walked in here, I arranged everywhere. This place can be permitted to be anyhow when I'm not around. Because some people will never see it. But once I walk in, I'll see what others don't see. That's the difference. That's why those who rise are eager to take responsibility. They are eager. They are eager. They know finding problem is their own key to rising. So he said, when darkness and gross darkness covered everywhere, he says the opportunity. Like some of you don't know what is going on. God says he's going to raise 24 corporate organizations. I told God, KD must be one. And so we've started our beginnings of real structured organization. I mean, you don't know what is all, all this employing of staff. I, the many things we've not done for 14 years of this ministry, we've started. We send them their financial reports. We review the report back. So we don't read their reports. For 14 years, we've not read the reports of the chapters. Because God told me he's going to raise a standard corporate expression. Then I should not take step to create it here. There's somebody I want to employ from Owe. He didn't know why I gave I did the discussions. Because he has been there for years. Yet another heard it. 24 corporate organizations will come out and to him is another preaching. Let's be going on in this city that you want to run away from. This city that your eyes are not open, my Pastor will say, why it's come here? They say, we pick golds on the streets of Nigeria, but Nigerians are blind to see the gold. Say, there's gold everywhere in their streets, but they can't see it. That's the problem of followers. They are too blind to see. So God gives them leaders that sees to help them to see. So now when your leader is blind, and any time you start seeing, you move away from the position of a follower to a position of a leader. When you came into Enugu, what problem did you see? How did you respond to that problem? It decides if you're a follower or a leader. Even if you're a businessman, even if you're a career person, whatever you are, you are into social works. Once you walk into a city, the first thing is to descend that city. The Bible said when Nehemiah arrived the city, he didn't talk to anybody. He went around the city. He observed the city. Because the problem of the city is his key to rising. These are the best times to live on the face of the earth as a believer. And these are the best times to live on the face of the earth as an African. Pastor, I keep scrolling down on this me. You will see a young man talking. A white young man. You know one time before I came close to my pastor, I used to wonder why he has certain information I don't have. My pastor is not just a preacher. He doesn't only read Bible. I kept wondering, why is this man this way? Why is he so informed? Until I began to come closer to him. And I realized. Why? This Bible is meaningless. 
A man of God said you must have newspaper in one hand and Bible on the other hand. With the newspaper you know what is going on and what the devil is doing and what men are doing. And with the Bible you get wisdom on how to address things. So I discover why he was that way. Humble your heart. I was saying something I've lived in many, I've slept over in many churches. Do you know I've slept over, over in an uncompleted church building? Uncompleted. Nobody. There was nobody to talk to, so I entered and slept through the night. Uncompleted church building. Because I didn't have where to sleep that day. I packed myself, entered there with my bag, everything. After the night, I went on. You is not what you have. You is who you are. Who you are. Many are confused with what they have around them. And they are confused in trying to package themselves better. Yet they are empty shelves. Shelves. They are not bothered that content is not there. They are not bothered. They are not building themselves. They are not bothered. They are more interested like Saul will tell Samuel, please come out with me. So people will think that things are okay. They are not bothered about within. I can trek in this Enugu one year. And as I'm trekking, I know I'm not in the class of those that are trekking. It, their mentality will never reach me. Their attitude will never reach me. Their perception of life will never touch me. I will be sitting out as we are trekking, as they are talking, I know I'm not in this class. Now I'm just trekking because maybe I sold my car. Maybe I will never allow what they say reach me. And the next time they see me, they are still trekking. And I'm out of that trekking. And I will still not despise them because I still know that there's, there's, it's not as if there's anything wrong with them. It's just that something within them is what is keeping them trekking. Something within them. They can't see. Enugu is the best city in Southeast. Take note. Enugu is the princely city of Southeast. Your relatives, when they meet you because you live in Enugu, there should be an attitude. But somebody has cultured you in a manner that is not correct. And until that stuff leaves, that is say your traditions, your mentality, your philosophy, until it is removed, nothing much will happen. I took time to say the things I'm saying before we now jive, 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 you know, jump into the things I want to say. When you meet a strong man, whether rich, whether poor, whether weak, whether mighty, never have any sense of inferiority complex. Never think the person is better than you. Nobody is better than you. Nobody on earth is better than you. Nobody doing anything on the face of the earth is better than you. They are just doing things better. They are not better than you. Doing things better is different from being better than you. And once you start doing things better than the way you are doing it, you will also understand there is nothing about them. 
there are people before I thought they were out of this world. Sometimes I felt that there's something about this person. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Till I came close and I realized they are just as I am. Like Paul would say, I'm just as you are. But some people put some people in a class and that's why they never rise. That's why all successful men that want others to rise always demystify themselves. They always try to let people know there's nothing really, 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 really about me. There's nothing really, really. I'm not better than Pastor Anna. That's why I keep telling her, be wealthy. Get richer than me. Because as long as she thinks that just because I'm her husband, I have an edge over her to be richer. She will never be richer than me. So I keep trying to break that mindset. Every time I lie down with her, I talk to her, you can be richer than me. And the day is sinking gradually. The day it enters, she will sign millions to me more than any other person. That time you think just because he's your husband is better. No, he's not a better person. He just does things better. So the Bible says Jesus received a more excellent the way he does things. Can't you see this ministry? We just we are just six years. We are better in many ways than other ministries, not because of our person, but the way we do things the way we do things. And the ones that look at us, they are not. It's just that they are better in the way they do things. There are seven major things if you are going to maximize the divine moment. This is message one I just did. This is our year of advancement, our year of prosperity. May this year not end and you are still standing far away from others. You need to be catching up with people ahead of you. You need to be catching up. You need to be catching up. You need to be catching up. Your vision should be speaking and you are growing. Not when a year finishes and you count, you realize there was no much progress. You don't have eternity to fulfill your destiny. You are not doing anybody. You are doing yourself. That time you don't want to be rich so you will not give. You kept yourself on the floor. That time you don't want to help anybody up. You are also on the floor. That time you are still on the same spot year after year. In the 10,000. Year after year. In the 20,000. In the 100,000. Year after year. You are not doing anybody. You are also not progressing. So we said the starting point of maximizing defining moment is to discern defining moment. If you don't discern defining moment, the defining moment will elude you. They did not even know it's a time of visitation. They did not even know. They did not even discern that the set time has come. So we read those scriptures in the first service. And we say the second thing about every defining moment is that you must own it. Like, there are some people, you know, if I say, I know that eh, the next six years, eh, you will have your child. Some people say, I know it's not my time. I can't marry the next six years. So when we talk about defining moment of marriage and children, they, they remove themselves from it. Because to them, it's not the time to marry and to have a child. If we declare this is a defining moment for someone to get a husband and marry this year, somebody will say, man, I own it. Because to the person, it's a defining time for him to do so. But another person will say, hmm, yeah, it's not this year. 
another another talk of another year so you see even if god is dangling a wife before his face he will not marry and even if somebody mistakenly gets pregnant for him and come and say i'm pregnant he says, i'm not ready which one let what would you do i'm not ready so you will never maximize a defining moment until you own it you know this is my own time for this this is my own season you must own it you must know this is it and you own it It's my time to operate in millions. A more soon pass on in five million. This is my own time to operate in dimensions of employing staff. I couldn't have done this last year. I couldn't have done it the last two years. And my target is that before I leave in Uganda, build structures that will employ at least 300 to 500 workers. Between now and 2028, 20, 2030. 300 to 500. That's my target. Staff. They will compare with other companies. Our institution phase is starting 2028. Let's be watching. We'll compare with other companies. I know it's my time. I know it's my season. It's our defining moment for certain things. I own it. Then the third thing you do after you have owned it is to prepare for that defining moment i read three scriptures our time is flying matthew chapter 25 get me another cup of water matthew 25 from verse 1 five wise virgins five foolish virgins the kingdom of god shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom they knew it was a defining time they've descended and they've owned it it's time to meet our bridegroom the bible says five of them were wise five of them were foolish those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them they were not prepared for what is required for that defining moment they calculated he said it's going to come today at least maybe 11 p.m he has come 10 p.m he has come they didn't know it will come 12 midnight a time that parts the former day and the new day they were they 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 were not prepared well for that defining time i had a friend that wanted to wed in the evening prepared the garden said the wedding will start 3 p.m they he said it's just that he's a son of God and he didn't want trouble to start from the first day of wedding. Wedding was a mess. The wife, knowing she is in Lagos, kept preparing and entered the road 330. Because she was held and she cannot enter bike with her gown. Only relatives that are very close stayed back. By the time she came, the garden was empty. Turn the next verse. 
But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. Please go faster. Exactly at midnight. Do you know why we shared this? At midnight, when you can't descend, is it a new day or the former day? But it is that defining time. A cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish realized that their lamp can come up. And they said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamp is going out. But the wise knows if we, if we do that, we, we prepared for, I prepared for 2025 since 2010. When I see what is happening in my life now, it's not a mystery. And the, the speed motion starts next year. I prepared for it. I, I will show you that I built the structures. I built the systems. I exposed myself for the trainings. Because I saw there's something God is opening from 2025 to 2030. Now people are saying, and not just people, everyone, the most, both seniors, elders, people around me, I prepared. And I prepared the system for it. Some things you can't just copy and duplicate. You know, there are some people that came to this, our church, and they insulted me. I don't want to call their names. Hey, they were going to start their own. Handling on the Mexico. All of them, about three young men from this church. I don't want to call their name. These ones know them. Gideon Chuko, did they know them? They didn't know there was preparation to start. They thought it's about talking. And they felt they can talk. What is in this hall within six years? I was sharing with Christian. He said he knows already. What is in this hall in six years? Some churches have not touched it doing ministry in four years. They've never touched that money. We're not talking about recurrent expenditure and they've never touched it. Doing four years in ministry. Do you know what this means? Some churches don't, don't touch 10 million a year will pass. Do you know what a church means? Touch 1 million in a month. In this new But our asset, we are streaming. Is a manager. On your Goraco call name, administrate something. More pressure manage little multiplier. But the wise answer say no. Lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell. There was a time they ought to have bought this thing. There was a time they ought to have prepared for this thing. And buy for yourselves. Verse 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with them in the wedding, and the door was shut. Verse 11. Afterward, the other innocent virgins, good-hearted virgins, they also came. Lord, Lord, open to us. Open to us, Lord, Lord. But the defining moment was already over. But he answered and said, As shortly I say to you, I do not know you. Another was invited for a party. Some did not understand the dimension of the party. And many of them despised it. That is a party of the king. And he sent his messengers to go bring anybody he sees outside. And they went and brought others, as many. And somebody came in not prepared. And when the master of the feast came, defining moment, he was cast out. Whether it's a defining moment that comes 
by divinity or defining moment that comes by discerning times and seasons. One that does not prepare for defining moments will miss it. I was taught by age 40. It's a defining moment in your life. If you prepare for it, everything works in your life. So I prepared. Immediately I turned 40. Everything started and everything was working. I prepared for it. Let me show you another one, Isaiah 54. Then we show the third. Then we move to the next scripture. Some, some have not prepared for this conference. They've not put their heart together. So somebody is going to miss a session because of 10,000 naira. Somebody asked him to come and collect. Somebody is going to miss a session because of 100,000 naira. Somebody asked him to come and collect. And that could just be the time something should unlock for him to step into another dimension. Then he collects that 100,000. He may even go. Like one of our pastors were killed. Domino City pastor. Sorry to say. His pastor called all of the pastors in Lagos for a training. And that was when somebody called him to come and collect the money they were owing him. And he left his location, started going towards Calabar when others are going to Lagos. And as he arrived there, some argument came. From one to another, the carry stick hit his head, he died. Others were in Lagos. God came, he died in Calabar. How much? Isaiah 54, verse 1. Sing, O barren. This girl has discovered that her timing has come and she owned it. Rejoice, you, you have not brought forth. You've not touched this level of breakthrough before. You've not experienced this level of fruitfulness before. You've not entered this dimension of breakthrough forth. Is it brave for them to sing and cry aloud? You have not labored with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married man, says the Lord. Turn the next verse. Immediately this woman descend that is his timing and owned it. The next instruction is enlarge. Prepare for it. Enlarge the place of your tent. Let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords. Like, like God tells you everything about your life will shift. And there is no target in everything about your life. That area, there is no target. Nothing will happen. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. Verse 3. It is out of this preparation that you will expand to the right. You will expand to the left. Your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be what? preparation let me read one more for those that are always with excuses the day I remove excuse from my bible and my dictionary is not today when the bible says oh man you are inexcusable it's not today I remove the excuses people are entertaining excuses with his people outside my family we don't do excuses me and Pasena there's no excuse Anything we want to do must be done. Anything we agree must happen, must happen. We don't have excuses. At all. John 5, 7. Not to talk of a defining moment has come in your life and you are still full of excuses. You are still looking for who to blame. You are still looking for who you are going to turn their situation I said that's why I'm this way. Me 
Let's read from verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4. For an angel went down. Let's read from verse 3. Madaya, I am Borombo. I am Borombo. Komoro Zuneni and Anna near Cambada. Elene Yaku Locon de Zinia Nagoro Zinia Naba. Elegetove. Ere Melodo Gorombara no Zinenianda. Lazaya Agaba. Agaba Naziano Veniaca. Egeno Venia Nabaya. Did not the Spirit say you will bear your fruit in your seasons? And things of a nova nova and over there. Do you know the seasons of your life? Men of Solandia, again, those solo batiaka. Do you descend seasons and do you own your seasons? In the echo velo lo sanina ambaroso niya pata. For those who don't descend their seasons and do not know the fruit they ought to bear, they are those whose seasons elapse and they are barren. Seasons elapse and they are unfruitful. Seasons elapse and it's as so God did not open a portal of a defining season for them. Seasons elapse. Time and chance happens to them all. That's why there is a time my child must be rich. I will do anything. I'm already preparing for him to be independent 25. Then when that 25 comes, I'm going to do everything to start his life. Because there is also a circle. If he crosses, he joins a one over ten. Or nine over ten that will never make it. Whenever a circle comes, it's open to everybody. There is a time called uh, time of love for a woman. Time of love is from 24. If you want, make it 21. And it runs through 29 into 30. When that time of love comes, that's when everybody marries. Uh, that's when, when all the people have wedded. That's what you'll be seeing on their bracket. 27, 28, 29, 25. Once that woman enters 30, enters 32, 34, 35. The numbers start dropping. Many there will never marry again. Drop 40. One over 10. With all the prophesying. That's the same way all millionaires became millionaires in the borders of 25 to 35, 38. You hit 40 and you are still struggling to pay house rent. You hit 40, you are still trekking. Your season has passed. Go and do your own study. Only two out of ten, finally, the rest will just be average till they die. But there was a window of opportunity that in their own time. So one time, this man named Pharaoh, Adam Tisea, Ediaka, began to threaten Israel. And God turned to Israel and said, don't bother. He is but a noise. His time. If you know how I cherish timing, Bible said of the of the princes of uh, of the Azeros, they were wise men that could discern time and judgment. People who don't, all I teach my children now is timing. They know there's time for everything. That is the best gift you can give to anyone because timing gives everybody opportunity in certain season. It gives all of them time and chance. But once that timing elapses. There is time for everything under the face of heaven. There is time. So, I passed on today. I not only descend the time. What should be happening with my mates? There is a time to be born and there is a time to die. And there is a time that the whole generation goes. It doesn't cross 120 as God promised us. If you live 135, even if you live 120, all your mates will have gone by then. You will be discussing with younger generation. So a generation does not have eternity to do what they have been defined to do. And in that one thing, there's calibrations of faces and circles. 
So I prepare for time. Then I prepare because there's Kairos and there's the other one. What is it? The two are important. Teach us to number our days to gain the heart of wisdom. That one is not Kairos. Please show it. Let's complete. Now there is in Jerusalem by the ship Ketepu, which is called in Hebrew, beside the having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down to a, at a certain time. It wasn't a confusing time. Certain, definite time. Definite time. They said there's that river in Enugu State. Definite time. People go there to bath and they get healed. Definite time. Every other day it comes, they go that definite time. Into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Verse 5. Now look at this guy. This guy was there first year. He did not descend his mistake. He got not out of his second year. He got not out of third year. This guy, this guy did not learn his lesson till 38 years. There's this guy they just caught in Abuja. Do you know what the guy's job is? He bought wheelchair. And every day he comes out to rent the wheelchair. He tells you how much you will pay for the wheelchair and how much you will pay him. Then you sit like a crippled person. Then he drives you out. People will get the money, you pay him his money. Another day again, he comes out again. That's his work. This guy could not find anybody that he would pay. He, he, he saw what was going on. The first year, the second. If not that Jesus intervened and rearranged this, he would have died crippled. There are people that are too blind to succeed. First year passed, nothing happened in their life. Second year passed, nothing happened in their life. They've never sat down to ask themselves why. For Jacob, after some years, Jacob came and said, please, I have seen that you change my wages every time. And it's to my disadvantage. Can we now do it this way? Until you remove excuse from your heart, you are going nowhere. I'm not the one that said it. Roman said you are inexcusable. If you want to, you know, when you accept the excuse towards others, you have ultimately accepted the excuse towards yourself. Like some people have employed, they not even one second, I will use my money and pay. I don't tolerate the excuse when I'm dealing with you. My word doesn't fall on the ground when I'm dealing with you. Never. I don't, I don't promise somebody something and not do it. I always stand tall. Because I have made no room for excuse in my family. That's why we are on the, on the go. But when you make excuses in the working place, make excuses outside there in ministry, you've made room for excuses even in your own life. Have I ever told you for things that is on my own end in this church and we didn't do it for 15 years? No. I don't make excuses. Now a certain man was there who had been infirmity 38 years. This is a defining moment for this guy. See, he, he was there that way. Turn the next verse. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? Imagine. Because it looked like so he doesn't want to be made well. He's an unserious guy. He doesn't want to be rich. My pastor just sat me down one day, just one day, it's not two, and told me he doesn't want me to be poor pastor. Do I want to be rich? I said, yes. He said, let me teach you. He brought scriptures, showed me scriptures, first food, showed me scriptures, died, showed me scriptures. When he finished showing me all the scriptures, he said, it's left for you. Are you in? I said, pastor, I'm in. He said, don't take salary again. He said, don't. He just taught me. 
Why I don't even want to give Pasana a salary? Because Pasana is what salary? Is I want her to be wealthy. Now, you know it's a different ball game. Some people are working, it's different. Somebody taught me to be rich. The sick man answered him, say, I have no man. All men that miss the funny moment think it's because of this. No. They don't take responsibility. They don't prepare. They don't prepare. There is nothing in this world you turn 18 to 25, 30. God will not bring somebody to say, marry me. There is no way. As long as you are, you package yourself, you arrange yourself, you are responsible, you look good, you do your... There is no... If it happens, means that there is cause. Will not be addressing cause. Will not be addressing evil pattern. So he said, when the time of love came, God came to her and entered covenant. God was letting with her from the time she was born. Espouse her. But the time of love came. There is a defining moment. Once you turn 23, sister, no matter what you want to be pursuing, open your heart. 22, open your heart. It's not forever. When 29 comes, your eyes will open. Show it. So I have no man to put me into the pool. When the water is shared up, while, if you want to marry you, some people don't want to marry so he asked, do you really want to be healed? The sick man said him, sir, I have no man to put me in the, the pool. When the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, have you seen, why, anytime I'm coming, I'm trying to, like, like Reuben that is always in between decisions, that's why his inheritance was taken. Reuben was always dying, he's always trying to make decisions until everything happens. Reuben is always that, he's always in between decisions. While I'm still trying, another person will step in. Okay, what stops you from lying by the corner? You've stayed here for years, so you've mastered the environment. You've descended better. Some people are too lazy to succeed. Do you know why? Success has been portrayed before them as an example, but they can't just follow the path. Me like this, finish this, it will not be global. Pastor Chris did it from UNN. Pastor David Obey did it from UN. Uh, Pastor Chris did it from Ekoma. Pastor David Obey did it from UNN. Uh, Pastor Kumi did it from Unilak. Because uh, I even did from A. Lauren. And, and I've seen men do this thing and I will not sit down and study how they did it. You can't make your own inquiry now. Ministries that started maybe last decade on campus. The ones that have the level of firmness. We're in the campus now. At least my own in Absu. Everyone that started with me died before I even left. All of them closed down. Preparation. I keep saying it now. Let us grow this year. We are not in competition. But no leader wants to be far ahead of his followers. It's not a blessing. Because next year, next year, they fought. Preparation leads to sensitivity. The dimension of sensitivity is that you wake up every day in that season knowing that something is about to happen. It's not like any other time. That is what the defining moment does. There is a consciousness. There is a sens sensitivity dimension. There was a young lady that was walking. I don't want to call her name. She's here. And she came and told me she wants to resign from her work. That she has some remote jobs and other things that pay. I said, please don't re resign. She said, why? That she I said, don't resign. You have not married. 
I said to her, if you resign and continue with this remote job, what will happen is that every day you will be inside at your room. You'll be inside at your room doing remote job. You will never make contact with people. You will not go out and come in and go out and come in. Then how can you meet more people? One of them is that person. I pleaded with her. Do you know what happened? A week to the day she was married and she resigned. How can you that want to marry live inside the room? There is no sensitivity of defining moments. Sensitivity. Now for every defining moment, there is a response to that sensitivity. So he said, they did not know the things that will make for their peace. They did not know the things that will make for their peace. Please show it. That Luke 19, 44, 42. Luke 19, 42. Sensitivity. I know the things that will unlock my defining moments. So next year now I enter into heavy social works. I'm not making losses. All the brains I've employed. What I'm paying them is lower than their value. I know their value unless they don't know their value. And sat them, I sat them down and told them you must give me at least half of what I'm paying you back. Half is what I'm paying you plus half in value. And if you're not giving it, we may end this contract. At least half. I didn't come to throw away money. It should be the time I pay you 150000 and I have gained back 250000 in value, in return. So I can keep paying. Yet yeah, their value is 500,000. Their value is 600,000. If they unlock all their potentials, they will be sitting down there with that 150,000 and still be in under 300,000, 400,000. I know they are worth. Saying, if you had known, even you, especially in this your day, that means it's a defining day. You should not be sensitive to know the things that will make for your peace. But your eyes are blinded. On my bed, I taught you seven indices. We were taught that years ago. We we're prepared for it. There is political influence. I will start it next year. All those seven indices have been growing it intentionally. When you collect just three, four there, you will stand out in your generation. Don't talk of when you collect the seven, eight. There is economic influence. There is social work influence. Philanthropic influence. There is enterprise, expertise influence. You are master in what you are doing. There is moral influence. A man of consistency. A man is word and his actions match. The thing he does, it comes from a coven. Somebody had to tell us he has learned the ways of money water. That they used to use Fanta. And money and peace. And there are people like that. Anytime they enter water, they will pour, pour something. Are you sensitive? Let me show you another one. Second Kings 2 10. And time is well. Those of you that they informed you are going to graduate today. I'm very sorry. We'll push it forward. Some protocols were not observed. For the gown. If those coordinators cannot pay for it, we will pay for it. Second Kings 2 verse 10. So he said. You have asked a hard thing. You've 
been serving for such a time as this. From day one, Elisha started following. Elisha was following for this. And somebody in the defining moment still said, you are asking a hard thing. Sensitivity. 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 You have gone to the place they want to deliver. The doctors checked everything and said, CS, don't be a fool. They are masters. They have checked and checked. Don't say, my God, say to me. It's also God that is walking through them. You may not know the attacks. You may not know. You may not know the war that is waging. Raise order. Call your pastor. Raise certain sacrifices. Then respond. I'll still show you respond. Some of you are not sensitive. You can work for a thing and still not get it. That's why I say the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. You can work, you can, you can be qualified for something and not have it. My pastor even teaches and it's in the Bible. What, what, what are you doing? You have turned 40, turned 45. My friend, go and do surrogacy. Find a way, get a child while I still believe in God. Get one. It's not a cause. It's your baby. Even Jesus adopted us. Because that time you are waiting for that one, you will get when you are 65. At least you have two children. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not that you don't have it. Bible mentions all alternatives for you to have children. Legal, legit. Go and do IVF. Don't say it must be the Holy Ghost that will carry the sperm and take it there. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me, when I'm taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. And they were walking, and the man noticed the defining that. I don't know if it is in the first session. I don't know if it is in the second session. I don't know. Sensitivity, my pastor said, go, go. You've been there. I've been there since Wednesday. And the man comes out and then I said, go. What if I was not sensitive by the spirit that the very day for which I came is Sunday morning? Sensitivity. But I've gone. I missed an impactation. Then it happened as they continued on and talked. That suddenly... Mark that was suddenly means he would have missed it. Suddenly, it happened so fast. But this guy was so sensitive that he started shouting. The chariot of fire appeared with horse of fire and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a well while we went into heaven. Verse 12. And Elijah saw it and he cried out, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. And, and the man was already taking the man to go, you know, go, go in his way. And he saw what was going, going on. And he took hold of his own clothes and taught them. Say, I must take this mantle. Tore his own clothes into two. Verse 13. And also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him. And went back. Immediately he returned. Like what happened to me. My siblings' new power has changed hands. I didn't need to talk. Sensitivity. Are you going to be sensitive in this conference? You want to sit downstairs? 
when you have an opportunity to be upset, I want to sit behind her. Let me just mention two more. My time is up. Luke 10 verse 38. Sensitivity makes you, when a defining moment comes, you reduce noise around you. You refuse distraction. Like you see, it's distraction for me so of someone to invite me to come and preach in this church. It's a big distraction. Big distraction. People don't know. It's not something I will avoid it to happen. It's distraction now. I am building my vineyard. I am constructing my structures. I am building the fortresses. Too much jumping up and down is distraction. Can't you see I said for, for four or five days in Endugu, you, you can only my pastor can remove me Sunday morning. But now have you seen I built a structure now? I'm going to be living every two Sundays. There was a time if I was doing it, I'm a foolish person. Generous with that army. Only boasting by the army of another. How did I get to know? Go and study all these other men. They say it's a distraction. So many of them say even till now it's a distraction. But some people think it's a thing of joy. It's a thing of joy. Jumping up and down. Training all other nephews and uh, niece. You are jumping up and down. But your own field you've not tended. Now, even if I sit down in my office and a month end, there's no way I will not get five million without traveling. Even there's no way I won't get five million. But those ones need to travel to get money. Luke chapter 10. Then we mentioned the last one. I just mentioned one more. My time is up. That sensitivity makes it, you, you don't allow noise, you don't allow distraction. There are people that are distraction to you now. There are people that are noise to you. There are environments that are noise. You want to become rich, you want to be playing with poor people. You are not ready. You want to become successful, you are playing around with failures. You are not ready. You are not at all. They are discussions. Bible said, and immediately the angel met Mary. He told Mary, rise up. There is Elizabeth also, whom they called Barry. She is already pregnant for four months. Rise up and go there. And immediately Mary went there. There was a leaping, a leaping. It was no time to go sit down with failures. It was no time to go sit down with barren people. No time to sit down with men on the floor. I came to this Enugu. To be sincere, four people wanted to become my friends. And I didn't mind. The first time they came to this hall, do you know what they told me? Pastor is my witness. I should leave this hall or divide it small. It's too big. That is when I began to know that these people can't be my friends. Then I stayed with them again another four months. I said, they'll be calling, I will not pick the call. I so much, one of them got angry till they all left me. I said, thank God. Then I stayed another two, three years trying to observe my friends. Then I saw the most successful five young ministers. And I went and became their friend. Some of you are not serious. You still want to be going back to that person that tells you not to put a seat in your car when you are driving. That tells you how to, how to eat once in two days. But you want to come out from that state. You don't want to sit down with people that have come out from that state so you can see how to come out. I put people who don't want to come up in the... There's a place I put them. I know I'm to help them. But I don't allow anything they say to enter me. Remember the palm tree. The palm tree has certain dimension in its leaves and that, that things outside also enter. Now it happened when, as they went, that he entered certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. Verse 39. 
And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his words. Verse 40. But Martha was distracted with much serving. Distracted with much serving. Powerful multimedia, distracted with much serving. Powerful Russia, distracted with much serving. You will not get the blessing of this conference because you served. You will get the blessing of this conference because there's an encounter. That's why I've been a worker. I've been a leader in a fellowship. I've also been a leader. I don't play with time of encounter. There's one of our most successful ministers. His name is the blessed memory of Pastor Ezekiel Atang. He taught me something that made me to change my mind when I was serving in Faker. He said he realized that the nationals, the regionals, they talk too much outside when conference is going on. They like just to do something. So many times they are doing that thing I'm inside. He said it with his mouth. If that, they say, ah, his own is always, since Faker began, nobody has done ministry that level. Me, Dr. Bon will be speaking. All the nationals will go out. These people can testify. Regionals. Even if I don't know what you are saying, I'm sitting there. They say, oh, we know it's only the way that will be sitting out there. Even if I don't know what they are saying. Now, all those my mates and my seniors are my head of them. They are principles that cannot be broken. They will all go outside. A guest minister is speaking. And they will go outside and be just sitting. They will laugh. He's still sitting down there. They will laugh. See, when you gave birth to your child, he did not understand English you were speaking. She did not understand English you were speaking. But you were just talking. She didn't know those words. But all of a sudden, there is exposure to a presence. There is an exposure to an atmosphere. You don't even need to know everything they are saying. Just sit down and wealthy men, even if you don't know what they are saying. Fragrance of wealth will follow you. I'm telling you a true life story. Any, anyone that is saying something that is not beautiful, they all go out. Me, I'll sit down there. As I'm, I'm not going to ever hurt here. One of my seniors came with seed kneeling down and said, please forget that I'm your senior. Pray for me. That's why I beg these people. I beg the directors. I beg the pastors. Anytime we have a conference, I want to make sure I free them so they will be sitting, but they don't know why. Being busy about many things is not what is required. Even those in the media, those in Austria, be connected while you are doing what you are doing. Instrumental is also be connected. I always sit in the front. Even when the students will give me any since I was I gave my life to anything I go, I always fight to come to the front somewhere. Because people behind there is noise. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him, even had boldness to approach and said. Lord, you do not care that my sister has left me to serve alone. Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. Turn the next verse. But one thing is needed. Do you know that one sensitive thing needed in the defining moment? Two sensitive things needed in that defining moment. Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. Eight days before his crucifixion, Mary came with oil. Immediately he rose, Mary came and announced it. Her name is still here with us, traveling everywhere. We only know matter because of Mary. Because both of them would have been wiped away from scriptures.
Sit. 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 It leads me to the sixth. Anytime there is a divining moment, it's time for you to turn to God. Defining moments are facilitated by God. You need divine direction. You need divine instructions. Island of Patmos, when you just know that you need to shift, the man was in the spirit and head and soul. For Elijah, he had to fast and travel to the mountain. First Kings 19 verse 8. Anytime there's a defining moment, you don't withdraw to fast, you're a fool. I want to say it again. You don't know the ABC of the things of the spirit. That is when you call for personal fast. Whenever you sense, I'm about to start a business. Like when I started this ministry, there are some people I used to fast with. I fast with them four days every, every is it two, two months? Stretch. I had to go two days earlier. Fasted two days and they met me, they thought I, I could not say anything to somebody. It was in that place I had encounters. In count, that was when complete boldness came. The nun came and we completed the fasting. Then I now told them, this is the next thing I must do. And the first person that ever called me pastor is Pastor Uche. Anytime there is a defining moment. Anytime in your life, somebody has come to say, marry me. Some partnership. Some, don't just jump into it. It's time to withdraw for divine instruction, for divine guidance, for divine help. Divine encounters facilitates divine defining moments. And so they told Elijah is going to be swallowed up, but he journeyed to Mount Horeb. The seventh, that's where we'll end it. Matthew 14, 38. 28. This is where I live. It's our year of prosperity. So, all this is I mentioned now, I started doing this since February. Not even one is missing. No. Since February. Matthew 14, 28. Let's end this service. Project it. The next time we'll have something as high as this is October. By that time, the year is ending. Any other program we do within the year is powerful. But in the records of heaven, it doesn't have this high tension. Why? This is our Shiloh when all our national churches, every so the angels at work cannot be like the angels of King's Bride. It can never be like the angels of business and professional, whatever. It can never be. For Israel, it was three times in a year. It's when God does a shift, not only for the ministry, but for the people, all the angels of the ministry present, all eyes of God present, all everything. And that is when somebody will not be present. When Jacob says, gather my sons, let me share portion. That is when one person will know that there is something. An inheritance will be shared like Diana not being there. I don't think that Jacob couldn't have given him. Job gave something. Job was before Jacob. Do you know? You don't know because Job is ahead. Job is older than Jacob. Job is older than Abraham. And Diana did not get inheritance. Say, Pastor, how? That's why I'm a pastor that goes for school of ministry and theology trainings. You read Bible alone. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Every defining moment needs a daring bold step, a daring action. After you've gone up and got divine instructions, got divine directions, every day nobody has walked on water the way this man walked on water.
And the Bible said he took steps. While others were still scared, he took steps. John 11, 39 to 40. This is my bold step to release the corporate side of this church. Employing people. My bold step. Jesus said, take away the stone. Every defining moment will always leave you with a corresponding action. Will always leave you with a bold step. Matter. The sister of him who was dead. That is why when you come for the conference, beyond the shaking, the fire, the storm, your greatest blessing will be divine instructions. What he said to you. What you must do. Because he said you should do it. The sister of him who was dead said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench. For he has been dead. Four days. Turn the next verse. Jesus said to her, do I not say? Because if you believe it's a defining moment and instructions come, you must do what? Take action. You must take action. Then I now say to you that if you would believe, you will see the glory of God. Look at verse 41. Please show it. Then they took away. If they didn't, nothing will happen. Start that business. Go and register that business. You are still looking at me. Start looking for a shop. You are still looking at me. Look for an office. You are still looking at me. Telling me how can it be? This thing. January, when I said we will employ 12 persons, it was not possible. Now, even now, it's possible. My mouth started speaking. Also, wait, 2028, when I'm leaving, or 2029, count the number of staff we'll have employed because we'll have built things. Not only church, primary school, secondary school, would have built all kinds of expressions. Wait. At least 300 to 500 staff I will have before I leave this city. And I'm just starting this year now. This is 2024. And I've given you 2028, max 2030. Because I cannot live in this city beyond 2030. Unless God says stay. Never. We need to head to Abuja. Or Joss or Kaduna. That three. We won't escape it. We only find the city out of the tree. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. Verse 43. Now when he has said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, comfort. And he who had died, this is a defining moment for that family, came out, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, lose him and let him go. The whole city came to behold this miracle. Let me say this last thing. The Bible says because they refuse the instruction of their teachers, they are almost in the verge of destruction. There are miracles that will never happen in this church until you obey my instruction by the Lord. Never. 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 You want to move forward. And I say, give 200,000. Give. Give 100,000. It's not. This program will happen. Don't you think so? Must. We've deposited for everything. Why won't it happen? Why won't it happen? 
But just the first time we did this program, I used my hand strength and almost slept in this place. But this time we are doing this program, I can sponsor the quarter. What I've given for this program, this whole church has not given half. The whole church. By the time we come next year, or maybe I can sponsor the whole program myself. There's something that progresses you. It must happen, no? Must. But the only challenge is that you don't know is that you too, you are not making progress. So, the things of your own life too, you want to push forward to. I already learned a lesson. If I can't believe God for something that directly connects to him and get resources to do it, is it not my personal thing that is not directly connected to me? Be wise. It's better for me you leave this church and go to Dominion City or go to House on the Rock or go to Christ Embassy where they lose king and you become rich. Then you are fooling, fooling. You are just fooling yourself. Stand on your feet. It's time to take away that stone. It's time to obey instructions. Register that company. Get that office space. It's time to go corporate. It's time to step up in your giving. It's time to rearrange your attitude from a follower to a leader. When I came to this church, I couldn't have in any way at all. Second year, I couldn't have in any way at all. Third day, I couldn't have. What has happened? But I've been progressing. Progressing by black and blessed. I can sponsor black and blessed. It will just be like 30 million. I can sponsor it. I don't need to tell you how much I get every week. It's not because I'm better than you. Remember, I'm not better than you. It's just that I'm doing things better than you. I'm doing things better than you. I'm using my money better than you. I'm using information better than you. Wisdom is justified by our children. If this wisdom has produced in our fathers and is producing in me, this wisdom should produce in you in building corporate things, in building strong families, in growing wealth. Don't allow your philosophy and culture of Enugu make you refuse the word and wisdom of our lineage. It's time to advance. No defining moment has come. Believe that this defining moment is yours. Own it. Prepare for this towards this conference and towards this season. Refuse diction. Refuse noise. There are people that should never be your friend. I don't owe any apology. I told you about somebody. He was not inviting me to preach. They'll be doing brothers forum in his church. He'll be inviting me to come and sit down. Regular brothers forum. I deleted him. He's not a serious human being. Some people will keep you on the floor and the four leprosy will go, we will die. It's time to act on the words of the prophet. So don't only turn to divine instructions. Reason. I have my senior pastor. I have the other one that mentored me. He came to me and said to me, anything they give to these people, give double. He said, if you do it after a while, you will be ahead of all of them. Because he has interest in me. He's the one that stopped us from doing apostolic feast on Easter. Anything he says, I obey. I don't argue. He said, how can you be doing this when your father is doing something? Cancel. He said, come. I see that this thing, see, my, your, your father, my father has shown me things that will happen. Look at what you will do inside the information. So there's a program coming up in June. They gave us 500 times. I will give one million. With all my trouble, and I did not argue with him because I've seen it happen in my biological family. When I say anything they are doing, give me more. I saw what happened to me. This is, this is somebody that wants you to prosper. 
See, the next testimony, I will rejoice even if I don't get anything from it. It's joy I will have. The next prosperity, the next time you earn three million, it, it, that is only my joy. You make my heart slim when there is no testimony. So when you refuse the instructions, the miracle can't happen. Until they remove the stone, nothing can happen. Until the four leprous men, how can four leprous men confront an army that a whole army of Israel cannot? How can Jonathan and his armor rise up until you won't see a miracle? Show that seven things again as you close your eyes. Leave it there. Trust me. The little that can glory is your success. The success will be yours. When I'm leaving, I won't take anything here. I won't carry the building of Enugu. I'm not doing anything here so I can glory much. I will leave it for another pastor. Trust me. Anything I say here is with sincerity of heart. As I've been taught in our lineage. And as God has instructed me. Respond to him. I don't know the things you heard. Respond to him. Respond to him. This is pre conference service. This is our month year of prosperity and our month of advancement. The next time we will have these frequencies in October, black and blessed. Would you wait till October? The year is already ending there. Would you not maximize everything just this fourth month and the second quarter of the year starting? That all that God is saying may happen. Lift up your voice one more time. This defining moment, Pastor has guided me on how to maximize it not only for this conference but for this season of prosperity I have seen pastor move within three months let the spirit and grace in this house let the wisdom and the anointing of this house lift up your voice it was last time Minister Das was telling me this is possible or somebody in his office said your pastor talks in a manner can't you have his kind of faith anything he says anything will happen and everything happens even people outside know it outside anywhere at all they know it that this man anything he wants to do he does it anything at all is this them wisdom stop making excuses cancel it today cancel it from your book anything i want to do i will do it cancel it and watch and see another dimension of you unlock that has been buried inside of you all these years. The ancient words Once ever true changing me. You have an offering, get it out. You want to pay tight and changing you. You paid your tight, come. We have come. We open up. Give to us the land call. Let the ancient world sing. Ancient world. Tight or you paid your tight, you gave to us the land project. You want to give to us the land project? Come. We have come. We open up. We open up. Wow, then let's give the office. the lamp project come faster holy words holy words long preserve for our love in this world say we got so long oh let us 
and one. and the sacrifices you are giving towards the land project towards God's house I stand in his name representing him as a high priest over you to proclaim the blessing upon you a blessing of prove me now in this as you continue consistent in the matter of tithing those all around you will know your feud is not a feud that can be barren your vine can cast off his fruit before his time. For my All around, both believers and unbelievers, who know you are one blessed of God, and your field is a delightful one for him. Those that have given to us their land project, that which you cannot build for yourself, even if all things are put, made available for you, with the hand of God build it for you. We receive this sacrifice. You walk in the blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we leave this offering in thanksgiving. We lift it in thanksgiving. That's what I believe. We lift it in thanksgiving. My desire. Thank you for the word of prosperity. And the word of advancement. Is to be honor yourself you this week. Raise us 24 blue CEOs. My I'm leaving an example to bring the corporate side of the church as never before. Please, oh God, get another 23. What you've called me to be. Honor us. My desire. We bear your name. For the time for us to honor and glorify you has come. Glorify us. That you may be glorified indeed. We offer up these offerings in thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, pass on at me. Is to be, is to be, is to be, is to obey.
tell them exactly what we are meant to be. King shall come to my rising. King shall come to my rising. It's your decade, it's your season. It's your defining moment. I am favored and When cross darkness and darkness and cross darkness is covering the people. In all I do, the I light and glory of God, God is on you. Nations and kings, they come to you in this season. Shall come to my rising. Shall come to my rising. I am favored and great. I am favored and great. If all I do, if all I, if all I do, I shall prosper. Jesus, everything I touch, everything hey. I touch, shall be blessed. Sit, Pastor. Now come. So the service is almost up. Let's welcome our first and second timers. You are our most valued persons. We are glad you came to church. Hallelujah. Amen. It's like to welcome the most important persons in today's service. If not, it's your first time of worship with us in Kingdom Diplomacy. And you could just give me a warm handshake. Is your um, one wave? Anybody like that? Wow! You stand on your feet. We we'll like to recognize you. Like to welcome you in a special way. We just welcome you. so glad that you're here this Sunday morning. On behalf of our pastor, Pastor Ndukwe Ndukwe, we want to say a big welcome to you. Please take your bag, your Bible, whatever you came to church with, and follow the beautiful ushers standing by your side. We love you, we appreciate you, and we do what? We treasure you. Hallelujah. Okay, this is not your first time. You've been here before, sometime last week, last month, last year, but this is your second time walking into church. Can I just see you wave your beautiful hands at me your second time? Wow, anyone like that? Wow. Please just welcome them. Stand on your feet, sir. Welcome home. There's those of them around you. Around him. Can you just say welcome home to him? We love you. We appreciate you. Welcome home. Thank you for coming. Alright, so please give us another five minutes. I want to talk to you about mobilization. We finished talking about money. <laughs> we still need about five million, but the world is for the wise. 
So, please, I'm going to show me the number of persons that everybody is meant to bring for this conference. All right, so for those of us online, we are glad that you connected in this service. It's such a blessing. Such a blessing. We expect you to connect in all the sessions. I, I, I can assure you that you can't be the same again. I can assure you that the men that are coming, the things that God wants to unlock, is going to impact every area of your life. Buy data. Find a way. And those of you that can come down to Enugu, a lot of people are coming down from across the nation. We want you to come down here. This is a defining decade, a defining season for Africa. This is the best time to live as a believer. Take advantage of the things that God is opening up in this portal so your portion will be established. Thank you for connecting to this service. We bless you. We love you. Let's meet again. By which day is that? We will meet on service on Wednesday. Then from Thursday, 5 p.m. We will flow. Thank you. Friday, 5 p.m. in the mornings, 8 a.m. To be a great blessing to you. I thought you would show the IV card when I was talking to them. But make sure you connect. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I share the grace with you. The kindness of God goes with you this week. The hand of God continues with you. We will hear your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll just talk about mobilization and our rally. Get flyers and give to them. So for mobilization, every pastor must give at least 200000 for money. Come, I will lend you the money. You will tell me when you will pay me back. Every pastor must give 200000 naira for this conference. 